and we have a resentment and a copy pad, we don't need to have a resentment. Uh, and we call it an AA meeting. It, in the eyes of AA, it is an AA meeting. So, so the reality is, is it's a moving target, and nobody knows. People say, well, how many people are in Alcoholics Anonymous? No one has a clue. No one has a clue. I was traveling in Kazakhstan and came across a little town where there was a guy, this, this little man, who had gotten a Russian translation of the big book, and, uh, and he was what we call a loner in AA. He'd never met another member of Alcoholics Anonymous. He'd, he'd just gotten this book, he'd read this book, he got sober. He would correspond with New York, with AA in New York. He'd never met another member of AA. Uh, but so this is, the, you know, you, the, there's no membership fees, there's no, you know, as a matter of fact, another change, it says the only requirement for AA membership is a desire to stop drinking. It used to say an honest desire, or I think an honest or sincere desire, and they decided that that was too high a standard. And so they said, nah, just a desire. Right? We're not going to start judging people's motives. And, and you know, groups are self-supporting. One of the reasons why, though there will be national criticism about AA, you'll never hear anything come out of New York AA is because they don't have any opinion. They never express their opinion. Uh, you know, people say all sorts of things about AA, and AA never responds, ever. Uh, but, so this is, I mean, it, I, I think this was really a charmed thing. I think Bill's work on these traditions was extraordinary. Uh, but it really is an un, very, very unusual organization. Nobody's in charge. Nobody runs this. Nobody, you know, two groups side by side in the same town are autonomous except when they do things that affect each other. Any questions about this? All right. And this is just to show that it grows. Uh, in St. Louis, they passed the three legacies. 1960, I don't remember what the, what the business was for 1960. They, uh, they normally enact, or at least in the early years, they would enact something. I think the I am responsible. Uh, there's Bill's desk. Uh, yeah, I am responsible in 1965 was a, a greater expression of the 12 traditions. And this responsibility declaration, uh, you'll find AA meetings where, they, uh, where they'll actually recite this at meetings, the idea that uh, the hand of AA is always to be there. Uh, and that was passed, I think, 65. Um, Bill Wilson had his share of struggles. He suffered from terrible depression. Uh, he, he went off on the group, had to pull him back from time to time. In the 60s, he experimented with LSD as a treatment for alcoholism. 